both panic attacks and heart attacks come on suddenly and they even trigger similar symptoms. Chest pain, shortness of breath, sweating and a feeling of dread can accompany both of these episodes. However, heart attack describes a serious emergency that requires urgent medical help, with time playing all the difference. This means that being able to identify the event promptly and get help is crucial. Fortunately, Dr. Amir Khan shared the major difference that could help tell the two apart. Speaking on ITV's show Lorraine, he said, the major difference, really, is that a panic attack can come on at any time, even when you're resting, or even sleeping, and it can wake you up. Whereas, heart attack generally comes on when you exert yourself and the pain doesn't just stay in your chest. For a lot of people, it can go down your arm, up into your jaw or neck area. With panic attacks, the pain eventually does subside, whereas, with heart attacks, it doesn't tend to. Despite the popular belief that heart attacks are a man's problem, more than 30,000 women are admitted to hospital in the UK due to the medical emergency, the British Heart Foundation explains. Another thing to consider is that women can experience heart attack symptoms differently to men. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, women can suffer from signs like unusual or unexplained tiredness, nausea or vomiting instead. However, Dr. Amir added that if you can't determine whether you are having a heart attack or panic attack, you should seek medical help. If you are not sure whether you are having a panic attack or a heart attack, err on the side of caution and call 999, he said. The paramedics can help you decide. How to manage panic attacks The TV doctor said the main thing to remember is breathing exercises and trying to refocus your thoughts from what's causing you to stress out. Therefore, he recommended practicing a simple writing exercise. Dr. Amir said, write down three things that you are positive or grateful for and focus on those three things. And take the spotlight of the thoughts that are negative onto more positive things.